So what that tells us in, in healthcare is that there is a tremendous variation in the cost of providing care across the country. And what we should be doing is identifying those communities, those organizations that have figured out how to deliver care more cost effectively and try to replicate that around the country. In my opinion, I think that's a major uh, initiative that we need to focus on before we reduce the cost of health. I was at a meeting back in the early uh, 90s and I heard Senator Frist present some data and this was for the first time when the light bulb went off in my head that the system can't continue to work. Uh, he talked about the relationship between the number of workers supporting the number of people who are on Medicare. In 1970, there were 7.3, because they pay for out-of-pocket services, they don't always seek when care is needed because they don't have insurance. They tend to use emergency rooms more frequently than those with insurance. And they run the risk of not having a serious disease diagnosed earlier and possibly being more easily treated because they don't tend to use the healthcare system because they don't have insurance. And as we know, and as unfortunately we've read about too often, one hospitalization or a severe accident can create financial ruin for somebody in this group. According to a study in uh, the issue of, uh, uh, in the Journal of Health Affairs, uh, over half of all bankruptcies in this country now are a result of out-of-pocket medical expenditures. So what kind of guidelines should we be looking for as we focus on health care reform? Well, first of all, I think that everybody needs to uh, make a sacrifice. If we try to put too much of the burden on uh, the patient, or if we try to put too much of the burden on the hospitals or the insurance companies, um, we're going to have a, we're going to have problems. And I think uh, everybody has a role in, in making this a better system. And I think everybody's going to have to make a sacrifice for the benefit of all of this. Uh, I think concern for the individual and the patient must come first. We have a lot of special interest groups in Washington that the public isn't always represented, and I think we need to make sure that the individuals are represented as much as the special interest groups. We need to make sure that patients and their doctors have that special physician relationship. Uh, those decisions about our health need to be made between us and our doctors. We don't need to have other people involved in those kinds of decisions. We need to focus on prevention and how do we keep people healthy. We currently have a very expensive system because it's a sick care system. Uh, no, nobody, in, I shouldn't say nobody, but most people, hospitals, most doctors, we don't get paid to, take, to keep people healthy. We get paid to take care of people when they're not healthy. And that's a much more expensive alternative than trying to keep people healthy. Uh, we at BB, for example, have started a program recently where we recognize that, that patients who have congestive heart failure are hospitalized very frequently. They're readmitted to the hospital often during the course of the year. Uh, we get paid every time somebody comes back into the hospital. We don't get paid to keep somebody out of the hospital. We're taking the initiative and working with members of our medical staff to try to do just that, keep people out of the hospital, because we think that's the right thing to do. Uh, we're not going to get paid for that, but we're, we're starting this as a pilot program because we think uh, that's where healthcare needs to go, and we want to learn how to do that because we think that that's going to be one of the responsibilities of the providers that we're going to have going forward. Our system really needs to emphasize three things. It needs to emphasize quality versus quantity. I mentioned earlier that doctors and hospitals were paid for what we do. We're not necessarily paid based upon the outcomes that patients have or the quality of care that we receive. Now, I'm optimistic.